The Nokia 1100 is a basic GSM phone that has sold over 250 million units worldwide since its launch in late 2003, making it the best-selling phone and consumer electronics gadget in the world at the time. The model was introduced on August 27, 2003, and it was phased out in September 2009. Despite being produced at a time when more current and advanced devices were available on the market, the 1100 became popular. It was designed for consumers in developing nations who do not require extensive functionality beyond making phone calls and sending SMS text messages as well as alarm clocks and reminders. When it was first produced, the Nokia 1100 was the company's cheapest mobile phone, making it perfect for underdeveloped countries. Its feature set is comparable to that of the earlier 5110, 3210, 3310 models, which were among the world's most popular mobile phones at the time, before smartphones gained additional features like cameras, polyphonic ringtones, and color screens. The Nokia 1110 is a low-cost GSM phone that was introduced in 2005 and it was designed for first-time mobile phone users and went on to become the second most popular mobile device of all time, with around 247.5 million units sold. It was the successor of the Nokia 1100, which was the most popular handset of all time in terms of sales. The Nokia 1100 kept the same user operating system that had been in place for years, which gave it a familiar feel. The phone was created to be both functional and long-lasting. Because of its rubberized, lightweight design, this phone could easily withstand being dropped. Like many other Nokia models, it had interchangeable faceplates that were plentiful and inexpensive. The phone was also extremely inexpensive, it was ideal for emerging markets, or those who didn't want complex functionality. The 105 is a Nokia feature phone released in 2013, with around 200 million units sold. It was first shown off at the 2013 Mobile World Congress. On a single charge, the Nokia 105 is advertised to provide up to 35 days of standby life and 12.5 hours of talk time. While smartphones have ruled the roost in regions like Europe and the United States, feature phones continue to play an important role in the mobile phone ecosystem in developing countries, where there is a huge demand for low-cost basic devices. The Nokia 105 replaces the Nokia 1280 as Nokia's entry point into the mobile industry, and it has some large shoes to fill as the 1280 sold 100 million units in three years. Overall, it's more of a backup emergency phone that can withstand some bumps and deliver up to a month's worth of battery life, but it won't be able to provide the experience we've come to expect from our smartphones today. After the technology was launched by Nokia on the luxury phone Nokia 8810 in 1998, the Nokia 3210 was the first mass-market phone with an inbuilt antenna. Since its inception in 1999, it has sold over 160 million units globally. Snake, memory, a pair's memory game, and rotation were pre-installed on this phone. The inclusion of such games boosted sales in a rapidly expanding youth market. The hidden games React and Logic were included in some 3,210 models. They were turned on with the help of special software and a data cable. Nokia's Composer software, which let users to manually create monotone ringtones, was included on the 3210 for the first time. The device was reasonably priced and targeted at teenagers and young professionals. This occurred at a time when only a small percentage of young people had access to a cell phone, which was associated with older professionals and business people. The Nokia 5230, also known as the Nokia 5230 Neuron, is one of Nokia's first low-cost touch smartphones, running Symbian OS version 9.4, S60, 5th edition. 
After being announced in August of that year, it was released in November of that year. It has a 3.2-inch resistive touchscreen, 3G internet access, and microSD memory card capability. AGPS, Bluetooth, FM radio, and full HTML internet browsing are all supported. Due to its classification as an entry-level smartphone, it does not support Wi-Fi. The 5230 sold over 150 million units over its lifetime, making it one of the most popular phones ever. It's been very successful in poorer countries. The ARM 11434 MHz CPU, which is very powerful for a low-budget device, as well as the 3G with HSDPA 3.6 megabits per second support, built-in GPS receiver with AGPS support, standard 3.5 mm audio socket, and outstanding audio quality are all features worth mentioning about the 5230. With roughly 150 million units sold since its release date in 2007, the Nokia 1200 is another basic candabar phone within the same family as the Nokia 1100 with comparable essential features like lighting and loudspeaker. The Nokia 1200, unlike its predecessors, has a Navi key that allows users to quickly reach the important elements of the UI, such as messages, settings, and contacts. Despite its simplicity, the phone has a long battery life and is incredibly simple to use for messaging and calling. Even in regions with low coverage, call quality is sharp and powerful, and the speakerphone is very clear. However, unlike other low-cost phones such as the Nokia 2310, the 1200 lacks a built-in FM radio and a hands-free kit. It also lacks Bluetooth connectivity, preventing users from using it with a wireless headset or vehicle kit. Nokia launched the Nokia 6600 smartphone on June 16, 2003, and it cost around 600 euros when it was released in October 2003. It was the top of the line model of Nokia's 6000 Classic Business Series. It was Nokia's most advanced product to date when it was released, and it ran on Symbian OS 7.0 S Series 60, Second Edition. It also included a VGA camera, music and video players, Bluetooth, and memory card expansion, making it the second non-communicator to do so after the Nokia 3650. The model is still in use in many regions of the world, proving that it is a long-lasting product. Many consumers regarded it as a trendsetter phone that proved to be a positive milestone for the company. The phone was designed to take the position of Nokia's popular 6310i as the company's most popular business model. It is not to be confused with the current Nokia 6600 Fold, Nokia 6600 Slide, or Nokia 6600i phones, which bear little similarity to the original Nokia 6600. The Nokia 6620 is a variation of the Nokia 6600 that was released in the United States. The 6600 sold 150 million copies during its lifetime, making it one of the most popular phones ever. The Nokia 2600 is another Series 30 based entry-level phone from Nokia. It was first unveiled in India in April 2004, and then in Singapore and Helsinki on June 14, 2004. It was advertised as a simple phone with a 128 by 128 color display, but no camera, Bluetooth, or radio. It was one of the best-selling phones of all time, with 135 million units sold. The games bounce, mobile soccer, and Nature Park are preloaded on the 2600. Instead of Nature Park, certain models included the game Millennium Mission. Despite the lack of a second working button and the low resolution display, it includes spreadsheet capability. The 2600 contains a small phone book with room for five phone numbers, an email address, a URL, a company name and job title, 
a formal name and nickname, a street address, a birth date, and notes in each entry. Contacts with photos can be paired and saved to caller groups, but only groups can be assigned one of the eight polyphonic ringtones. Nokia 1600 is a mobile phone that was released in late 2005 as part of Nokia's Ultra Basic line, which was unveiled on June 2, 2005, alongside the Nokia 1110. The Nokia 1600 is a prepaid mobile phone that is similar to the Nokia 1110. It's remarkable since it was created with the intention of being utilized by clients in poor countries. The phone is known for its toughness and ability to withstand drops. It was one of the most popular phones of all time, selling 130 million units throughout its lifetime. When the Nokia 1600 was released in 2005, it had a speaking clock, which was a new feature at the time. The speaking clock could be activated by hitting the asterisk button while the home screen was being displayed. A ringtone composer is also included with the device, allowing users to create bespoke ringtones. A data cable can be used to transfer pre-recorded ringtones. The phone featured animated icons in the phone menu and 14 predefined themes with 14 wallpapers and menu backgrounds are available. A rudimentary calculator is included in the phone which can perform addition subtraction, multiplication, and division. The Nokia 3310 is a GSM mobile phone announced on the 1st of September 2000 and released in the fourth quarter of the year, replacing the popular Nokia 3210. It sold very well, being one of the most successful phones, with 126 million units sold worldwide and being one of Nokia's most iconic devices ever. The phone is still widely acclaimed and has gained a cult status due to its remarkable durability. Several variants of the 3310 have been released, including the Nokia 3315, 3320, 3330, 3350, 3360, 3390 and 3395. The 3310 is known for being reasonably durable due to its casing and construction, a feature which is often humorously exaggerated in online communities. Numerous videos also exist of the phone being put through increasingly severe damage tests to test the phone's strength, including being dropped from a great height, sometimes while being protected with makeshift cases made from various objects, being crushed by heavy objects, or being struck by vehicles or hammers, many times of which the phone proved its record. The 3310's reputation for durability led HMD Global to develop the Nokia 800 Tough with MIL STD 810G standard compliance in mind. The Nokia 1280 is a low cost dual band GSM phone that was unveiled in November 2009 and released in March 2010 in developing nations. It boasts a classic candabar design and is lightweight and durable. Its sibling, the Nokia 103, is only available in tiny quantities in developed markets. The phone offers a 528-hour standby time and an 8-hour and 30-minute talk time, as well as other standard features like speed dialing and an internal antenna. Other features include a built-in stereo FM radio, but to listen to the radio, the user will require a compatible 3.5mm headset, which is not included in the package, a speakerphone, a flashlight, a calendar, predictive text input, color covers that can be exchanged, and three games, bold games specify their availability at a certain region, bounce, rapid roll, snake senzia, beach rally. The phone also comes with 32 polyphonic ringtones preloaded. This phone is powered by a regular 800 mAh battery, and the phone book can hold up to 500 contacts, providing the user plenty of room to save all of their critical contacts. The Nokia 1208 belongs to the ultra basic line of low cost GSM phones manufactured by Nokia. 
The phone was released in May of 2007. The only difference between this phone and the Nokia 1200 is the color display. The phone went on to sell 100 million units, making it one of the most popular phones ever. This is a low-cost candy bar phone with a minimal feature set that includes a 200 address phone book, SMS messaging, alarm, calculator, calendar, speakerphone, and dust-resistant buttons. In addition, the 98 by 68 pixel display produces over 65K colors, and the device contains 4 megabytes of onboard memory. There is also a 2.5 mm headset jack, offering good options for listening to music. This is also a well-made and durable device that should survive many a pocketbook and tabletop. With 7 hours of talk time and 420 minutes of standby time, the Nokia 1208 is a simple and reliable phone designed for people who are looking for an affordable solution.